All right, and welcome back to more hacking of Yukyu Genso Kyoku second album. Just like last time, I spent about, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes off uh, camera, just kind of playing around. Uh, and what did I find? Well, I found something pretty great. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to describe what I did. So what I, what I was doing was essentially searching for a value and you know I'll, I'll reproduce it for you here searching for the value where I can find the images of characters right and so the first thing I, I did was I said okay when we unlock a picture it's got to be it's got to be adding rather than subtracting things so let's go ahead and just I don't know put this in binary format and let's just go ahead and talk to Albert So, one of the things that we want to do is we want to say no pictures have been unlocked of Albert yet. So it should be equal to whatever it was before. Same thing here. This is not, uh, this is not Albert. This is Hexa. And this is the standard picture of Albert. So here we see a new picture of Albert. So we want to say that it's going to be greater than the previous value. That reduces it to about 4,000. And the nice thing about Albert is, um, yeah, it should be still the same. 3,500. There's a couple images unlocked all in a row. Again, it should still be the same. Hasn't unlocked any images yet. And here we get a new image of Albert, so we're going to say this has to be greater than the previous value. And it turns out that that alone will bring you down to two values. Now, if we display those in hex, you can see more clearly that's value 13. Or 1, 3. And then here is a fourth image of Albert, raising it to 17. So we have two possible values here. Um, and the other thing that I did was I uh, recruited characters one at a time, uh, going back through the menus, so that I could say, like, okay, I know that Albert is character number one, and then I would restart and I'd say let's go hire character number two instead which would be this purple haired person and then let's uh, restart and hire character number three and in doing so I was able to figure out um, which thing controls which characters in my party so let's go ahead and put Albert back in my party in the first slot there he is and then what we're going to do is we're going to start playing around with this number here and we're just going to set that to all X. There's two possible values and um, that that had this property that we were looking for of like increasing the flags. And in this case, um, just like in the first game, the first value is like a cached value and the second value is the real value. So here now we have unlocked character art for Albert. I guess that's you and Albert fighting back to back. Um, that's I think that's Albert from the first game, uh, who's the weird dog creature who was your assistant, Alberto. Oh, you know, me and Albert were just um, wrestling. Yeah, so you don't need to see this window capture anymore. So. Yeah, essentially what we've done is we've found where the images are located. But that's only for Albert. Do we know? Have we gotten the other character art? Well, this is the character, uh, second character, and it turns out that, yes, it seems that we've also unlocked art for them. I don't know if we've unlocked all of the art for them. They have, like, an animal companion friend. So the natural next thing to do is to just start going crazy on this thing and setting as much as possible to a series of uh, flags that are all set. I'll demonstrate what I'm doing. So literally just kind of going through here and saying, eh, these all look like flags in the same area all the way up until here. That looks different. That looks like something special, so I'm, I better not mess with that. 
Um, so I'm going to go ahead and like do a save. And I'm also going to work backwards from Albert's art. Just in case, because this thing right here also looks like maybe that's a flag. And this is like one, two, three, four, five rows. One, two, three, four, five rows. And so there's there could just be some blank space between this thing and the previous thing. Because those look like formatted data. So this might be all of the flags in the game. That's my guess. So let's go ahead and give that a try. Let's check out Albert's art. Let's see if we unlocked anything new. Probably didn't, is my guess. Yeah. Uh, the other thing that I noticed is that uh, in this game, and I don't know, maybe in the previous game, you can change the background. There's a couple backgrounds to choose from. This is like the background that was used in the previous game. Let's get, I don't know, something with a nice... I like the blue sky. Hanging out on the road. Here's our 12-year-old uh, friend. Wearing their oversized uh, hoodie. And their knee highs. Those are programmer socks, I believe. Get your invisible pet. Then it becomes visible. Okay, so next we're going to go to character number three. This is this character. You remember them? Lou, I think? Oh, you know, I can I can turn off this uh, thing. Sorry, that's in the way. I guess Lou is a, a, a waiter serving on these children and knows cards. Then we get back around to the first character. So let's go ahead and change this to four, five, and six. So here's character number four, the uh, haughty or quiet type, perhaps. Holding her head a little bit strangely. I guess she can do origami. She's also good at picnics. I could go for a picnic. I'm a very food-motivated person sometimes. Here's our cop friend. I think her name was Vanessa. Despite it being Middle Ages, she's got a pistol. What are we holding? Is that like a pauldron? Putting on her lipstick. Gotta put on your lipstick before you go kill uh, enemies. Oh, she kissed us and left lipstick on us. Or, or maybe she's just testing it out on us. I guess that's the good ending for her. Then we got this character. She's like, I don't know, supposed to be good at cleaning. Was her character trope? She's supposed to be like kind of ditzy. Oh my. Her eyes are never open. That's, I guess, her wounded image. We'll get some CGs sitting by the river. What? <laughs> what, what is this guy? He's, he's like the cart driver? And at the uh, festival, of course. Alright, let's check out some more characters. We got characters 7, 8, and 9. Here's character 7. 
She's supposed to be another, uh, like, 13-year-old. I don't remember her name. I don't think I talked to her. But I guess she's, like, a doctor in training or something. Gotta dissect the frog. Even though it's a toy frog. She doesn't want to do it. Alright, we're packed up and ready to go. And we have this person. She seemed like... I don't know. She's full of energy. I wonder what this says. Ichi Dry Zhenkun? I, I don't know what that means. Oh wait. We didn't we didn't see all the art. There's her uh, holding on to us. She's given up her training by the master. Alright, then we have our drunk cat girl. Maybe she's supposed to be a fox girl. I bet she's supposed to be a fox girl. I think that's her holding up the uh, Melody character from the first game. Maybe they're sisters? Uh-oh. Looks like she got kidnapped. Drinking sake in a hot spring. Uh, yeah. Oh no, she's playful. She had some catnip, maybe. All right, and then we have a few other pieces of art. We have um, character number 10, character number 11, and character number 12. Um, now this is gonna be a little bit dangerous. I'm pretty sure this should be safe, but it might crash the game. So character number 10 is the last legitimate character you can get in the game. Um, she's kind of, a, I don't know, a spoiled kind of character. There she is, sitting on a bed, I guess. I don't know what's happening here. Ah, she's asking for our opinion on clothes. But she has no modesty. How funny. Now we're carrying her purse. UQ. Is that from Uniqlo? Um... But she's grabbing onto us. I guess we're boyfriend girlfriend now. Um, let's see. This is, of course, our assistant Hexa. Can check out Hexa's art. Um, is this like a torn picture frame or something revealing magical spells? And then we're getting some secondary character art. These are, of course, people we have not met. Like Blue Haired Girl. Maybe she's a secret character, I don't know. And then we got um, this person. That person. That's uh, Pe uh, Pita, or Pete, I think, from the first game. That's Ellie from the first game. Uh, Rick and whatever her name is from the first game. Yeah, I, obviously, you know, we got some cameos for all of you fans of the first game. There she is. This person again. She look, Her art looks a little different, but I recognize her from her very silly, uh, veiny shoulder pad, uh, baggy clothes thing. Not quite sure what... That, and there, there's, of course, Melody. We remember Melody. Uh, we remember this character. We don't remember her name, though. Uh, mother character? I, I assume she's just a generic mother. And there's, I think, Albert uh, from the first game. Different Albert. I think his name was Albert. Uh, priest guy. 
I guess this is a general of some kind. Kidnapper. Oh, he's got a crossbow. Using crossbow in the age of guns seems a little bit silly. Now we got some more secondary characters. Yep, these certainly are all people. People you could meet in this game. What are they all about? I don't know. Clown girl. I don't know why she... Hey, the parrot's back. Should be able to date the parrot. Uh, mad scientist. Yeah. Oh, I remember this guy. He was in the first game, too. He also looked like he had not eaten in weeks. Various brigands and such. Was this a dwarf? I think it's supposed to be a child. Kid with a broken arm. I guess he never fixes that arm. Oh, we got some ninjas. Little ninja crew. There's a cat. And a horse. Yeah, just like in the other game, uh, as we get into the more minor characters, we get uh, art, I guess you could call it, uh, like this. That is some really bad art. Oh yeah, we remember the Masked Wrestler. Now we have a female Masked Wrestler. Um, this guy? Probably got, you know, he's probably got those Dorito fingers, you know. He just can't get the, the dust, those Dorito dust off your fingers unless you lick them. Like, it's just how it is. Uh, there's Guile from Street Fighter. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing here. There's a lot of minor characters in this game. I like this guy's art. I think in the first game we also got a weird monster. Uh, that monster looks a little bit better. I think that's the same spider art. And there's some Oni. Hey, we remember Clayface. That's a harpy. For whatever reason, uh, not a dateable character. Spirits, also not a dateable character. Hey, Skelly. How's it going? He looks concerned. Oh, I guess the kid did fix his arm after all. Hey, I remember that monkey. And I remember that fairy art. And I remember this weird guy. I, I don't know what's up with Armadillo Man. And there we go. We have gotten through all of the characters. Oh yes, and that, that will crash the game if you try to look at the stats menu uh, while you have player 12 in your party, I think. If we try to look at uh, character 12's stats, yeah, that will crash. Well, just like the first game, I spent about an hour just kind of playing around with it, then about 20-30 minutes off camera, and then I was able to figure out... Uh, where the images are located, and we spent about, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes looking at those images. So, I would call that done for this game. There's probably stats and all sorts of stuff you could play this game. Let's stop that uh, annoying sound, at least. You know, there's stats. You, you could, I don't know, take a look at backgrounds and get silly scenes of you talking to anime girls, I guess. That's all possible, but... You know, we, we got what we came for 
we've seen all the images that are available in this game. And, uh, yeah. So, thank you for joining me. We'll play another game next time. I don't know, maybe we'll play the third game in this series. There's five games in the series, and we've sort of figured out how to do it. Like, how this game works, how to find the locations in memory where the images are located. So, I might just, uh, I might continue doing some of this series for that reason. However, right now, um, you know, thinking about food. So, it's lunchtime. I'm gonna get some lunch. Uh, I'll see you another time.